Hey there folks, Lord Thunder Monkey back here with you doing another mod review. We're checking out a street safety wagon today. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know in the comments down below how I can make it better or how I can make it worse for you guys. But if you really liked the video, subscribe, follow along, check out the rest of my mod reviews as well as my Let's Plays. And also a shout out to the modders. Thank you guys for adding new and creative ideas to the game and different devices just to keep the game pretty fresh and new and exciting rather than the same boring vanilla game it's uh it's just something that i really really enjoy i'm going to be critical of your mod it's not because i'm a modder myself i have a clue what the heck i'm doing in the studio but just due to the fact that i like to have really really good things in my mod in my mods yeah in my uh let's plays that i'm showing off as well as letting everybody who's watching these videos know what it is that they're adding to the gameplay and how it's going to affect them so let's check out the shop this is listed under Dallies, uh, which I think kind of describes it as in the uh, description on Mod Hub. Uh, it lists it as a Dolly, so this is where you'll find it. It's the Flegel Dolly, and I'm not even going to try. That is what it is. <laughs> and I own six of them, you can see there, because uh, it's got a couple different things we can do here. We're starting at a base price of $30,690, $10 a day cost. Now you can go street sign. Street no steering, street front steering, back steering, a Gregar no steering, front and back steering, and then back to the beginning again. Um, exactly what that does I for you, I don't know. But it changes the price a little bit. It doesn't change your cost today. You can change your room color, just about anything you want. So we're going to get up close and personal with this guy and get nitpicky. And that looks nice. That's touching the ground. The wheel chocks look to be touching the ground and are up against the wheels. Good details underneath here with the reflector and the, the, the mud guards and the, the way they're fitted on there. Oh, look. Like it says. Bite two meters, Regenstad, and I'll halt ya. Yeah, I know. If you speak German, um, you probably have a clue more than I do and it also says if you sneeze at you um, yeah no it doesn't so this looks like it's kind of been copied and pasted in here it's flat it's really really flat I wish this were better the rest of the mod looks pretty doggone good I can't pick up any of this can I no we'll just check out the these guys Scott some nice additions to it. I mean, you look under, whoop, not under the, but it looks good all the way around. It's just a back here. I mean, even this looks good going up, and then you get back here and just, eh, not quite what I was hoping for. So I'm curious, let's see here. Do you say the same things? Looks like they all say the same thing on the back. And the speed's all the same. The plate's all the same. Hey, man. Yeah, they all look the same from there. Um, hmm. Try to figure out what would be different with any of these. Because I'm not entirely sure that I see anything different. So let's. Let's get our itty bitty tractor out here. This would be great if you guys are like setting up different things and you're going to be out in the streets and you want to. Excuse me. Oh my lord. That season. Ah. Wrong time of year for me. <laughs> if you're setting up something and you're going to be out in the street and you want to block traffic off, it's in a collision there. Not the end of the world, though. Oh, it's got a PTO. I don't know what the PTO would run. I get the feeling we've just modified a... a trailer, in the, or a dolly, and added this on the top. But the back wheel doesn't animate. The lights work. All the lights work. What happens when we go like this? Ah, now see, that's nice. That's very nice. After we put on one blinker. 
tells the people to go to the right. Yeah, nice. Now that, now we're making up for it because you can get around the rest and kind of fudge it and make it look like you know it's all good and we're just driving along and, and things are fine. But yeah, you got the arrows that that animate in there. So that's that's our first one. Let's go ahead and just drop that off here. Let's see if these are any different because then we start getting into the options I got loaded into. So we're going to uh, check them out. There we go. Now we put on our blinker. We've got the signals. And the wheels still don't animate. They don't do anything special. Except for this one. That one does pivot. That, that wheel does pivot with me. get another one out here so that the front wheel was pivoting whoop not that one I don't want to go into those yet just gonna check these guys all out here now this one the back wheel looks like it yeah the back wheels turning so that's your front wheel steer and your back wheel steer that's the difference in the options I don't know that it'll help you out a lot with this guy but it's a little feature. So let's just take and let's just get on this middle one here. And see if these, how these are different. Oh, this has got the different tires. Ah. So this has got your different, that's what the wheels were, that's what the Agrigar and the other one. So this is your normal street tire, your semi-trailer, and this is more like a uh, one for out in the fields. And you know what? Wait a minute here. I'll bet it's not that the an wheel is not animating. I'll bet it's not touching the ground. I'll bet this tractor si uh, sits it too low. You can see how that tilts at an angle. Let's get a different tractor. Yeah, look at that. You can see it lifts it off the ground. Let's do this thing justice. Let's just check it out with a different tractor. Let's get, uh, I don't know. What do we want to get? Now let's get the T5. Sure. That's a great setup. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. $83,000 I just blew. <coughs> so this one hopefully is going to sit a little different. Let's just hook onto this one since it's there. You can see it still sits low. The hitch is sitting low on this. Why? I don't know. And so that's what's causing the wheel not to, to animate. It's too bad you can't connect it to some other way. So it's got nothing, you know, I'm going to say those wheels are fine. It's just the way it hitches on there. So if you hitched it on like the back of a semi-trailer, you hitched it on the back you know, of the trailer. Okay, let's do that real quick. Real quick. You know, let's get uh, let's get the agro truck here. Uh, let's add the back attacher real quick. We're gonna have a mess of vehicles out here, aren't we? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let's see here. So the back attaches on this. This should set us at the, just the proper height. At least I'm hoping so. So let's. Again, maybe it doesn't. No, I'm going to say, because you can see that trailer doesn't, it doesn't move, right? You can see, I like the, the wheel chocks going to place, but it's sitting dead level. So when we take it and we run it, that back wheel does not want to animate. It doesn't want to, oh, there we go. There it is. Just not, it's, for some reason, it's still tilting forward. There we go. It's just barely catching. It's like it's got too much weight to the front. It just is kind of bouncing off the ground. So, yeah, real nice little mod. I love this. I love <laughs> that. I won't get over that. That's. I, I, I do wish it wasn't so flat, but besides that, that's pretty good stuff. So, if you guys like this, check it out. Add it to your list of mods that you guys like to play around with. Thank the modders. Don't forget about them. As always, I'm Lord Thunder Monkey. I'll see you in the next review. Don't forget to share with your friends.